Hello and welcome to my first gouache painting process video. It's also my first long form YouTube video. So as you can see, quite a few rookie mistakes in this one. Um, I didn't set my camera up for the first hour or so. Um, so I have adjusted it, but the only reason why I was able to adjust it marginally better is because the battery was running out and the video had cut out. And so you'll see in a minute that my video is going to cut out. So here I am using Himi Jelly Gouache. Um, it's loads of fun. Um, it's not as opaque as I thought it might have been. Um, I'm following a video by Visual Mind, which is um, it's quite an old video, but it's excellent. And I love the paintings that she drew. Um, and so I followed it. And I might even do another set because I think it's, it was quite a, uh, an eye-opening exercise. Anyway, you'll, you'll see me um, try to, to paint, try different colours, light on dark, dark on light. And I really did try to make everything opaque. But um, a lot of the times I had to sort of overpaint so I'm not sure whether or not it's the actual Himi gouache that um, is not as opaque as it could be. You'll see that later on I got quite frustrated so I I had another brand of gouache by Arteza and I tried that just to add these light lemon buds and that seemed to work much better so maybe although the Himi jelly gouache are very pretty if I think in the long term probably the tube gouache um, maybe a few less tubes of it and you know mixing it may actually be the way to go um, but uh, yeah I had fun doing this it was lots of fun and although when I was looking at it when I was doing it I was thinking this is going to come out really streaky um, because I could see the paintbrush strokes but actually the result the final result is surprising it does actually smooth out quite a bit um, so anyway I think I tried this is the one that I used a different paint with and you can see that it's actually pretty opaque and just goes on first time round um, rather than at the bottom you'll see a little bud and I had to paint that over I don't know three or four times so I'm nearing the finish of this picture of these two pictures um, but this is actually really interesting it, it, it's taken me quite a while um, I don't have um, a, ma a massive amount of space. I'm sort of um, have a makeshift desk, but um, I think it looks quite clear. So I'll probably do a few more of these, um, and I might even do this one again, just to see if I can I've try different colours or get different result. But um, anyway. I'll let you watch to the end and uh, thank you very much if you got this far. Um, I always love watching time-lapse videos 
Um, and uh, I didn't do too badly for the first one. If you've got this far into the video, um, thank you very much. Um, I hope to do more of these videos. Um, it, it was an experience and I'm sure I'm going to get better. And uh, thank you very much for your time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.